Hello, you join me on the morning of day 30, I believe. Uh, forgive me for the weird light and yeah, the change of setting. This is the only place in the house that I could get free that had good enough light in which to film. Ah, I'm full of cold, as you can hear. Most people are at this time of year, unfortunately. This last week has been a roller coaster of a week for me. Uh, things. Things training wise are fantastic, things on other sides are not going so well. So training this past week, Monday did a, did a strength session last week, just building on some more real foundation strength stuff, kind of doing circuit based uh, workouts, did some, did some ball work as well last Monday, uh, some right footed stuff. Then on Tuesday had uh, Oh, so on Monday I just came back from the BBC Sports Personality things, kind of. I had weird nutrition all through the day, trying to grab something from train stations and stuff. So yeah, I got to training, did training. Uh, Tuesday, again, did some ball work and then had a speed agility session. And this this was the day before, I was uh, due to redo some of the testing that I'd done with Northumbria because I became injured during the first batch of tests we decided that we were going to kind of scratch them off and actually redo them. So we were planning to do a light speed agility session before the Wednesday morning and through the warm up I felt a bit of a groin strain. I was absolutely gutted. I was looking forward to the speed agility session. I had this fitness testing lined up for the next day and I was, uh, I was not a happy bunny. So that night we we called the session off there, we iced it straight away, lots of ice and rest over the next night, fingers crossed that it was going to be alright to do the fitness testing the next morning. Uh, before the fitness testing the next morning, went to meet with uh, Emma Stevenson, my, uh, the, the sports nutritionist that's involved this year. She looked over a food diary that I've been keeping um, the week before made some modification, well, suggested some modifications to the way that I should be eating, uh, basically suggesting that, well, one of the things that she suggested was that I, at the moment, kind of breakfast was smallest meal, evening meal was largest meal, I needed to kind of flip that on its head, uh, and making some other small changes based around that, so nothing too, too major, I've been trying to eat a kind of normal, healthy diet, uh, yeah, so it was just geared a bit more to to my training times, to kind of recovery needs as well. So yeah, did that did that on the morning. Um, I could still feel the adductor strain, but went to do the fitness testing anywhere, which consisted of sprints, agility work, and the yo-yo intermittent test that I wrote about last week. Surprisingly to me it held together which was fantastic. It held together through the sprints, through the agility. I uh, started to feel it a little bit through the uh, like speed endurance test, that, well the, the uh, recovery test and yeah then I had a few hours off with not enough food to eat so I was starting to feel a bit hungry before my afternoon session, I had a, didn't do any ball work that day, but I had a strength session with Nick in the afternoon. Everything felt alright, but then the next day I could really, really feel it. I, I, I was in quite a bit of pain, wasn't able to do ball work on Thursday, uh, went in, I was shattered from the day before. I literally slept, I think, 10 hours because of doing two sessions in a day without adequate nutrition. It had really, really knocked me. I haven't done two, two big sessions in a day yet. So, slept, went back the next day. We just did about a forty-five minute recovery session on the bike, and then on Friday, again couldn't do any ball work because of the strain. Went to have a, I think, had a sports massage on Friday, and yeah, went and did another light strength session. There's not a great deal of. Uh, speed agility work, endurance based running work that I can do whilst injured like this. So pretty frustrating end to the week in terms of training. I mean it's going well. I am seeing improvements. Actually in the in the warm up 
before I felt the injury on Tuesday and the injury wasn't caused by the warm up, it was caused by me doing some unsupervised ballistic stretching before the warm up uh, which I just pushed too hard and by the time I got to the warm up it just proved a little too much for me uh, what was I going to say then? yeah training's been going well that was it so in the warm up that I'd done even just one week before I had been gasping for breath during a warm up which was quite embarrassing because I've been quite fit in the past to be panting during a warm up was not a pleasant experience this week in the warm up I was absolutely fine so my body is adapting very quickly to the new demands being placed on it as it would I mean it's shown that at the beginning of training you're always going to see significant improvements and as training goes on those improvements tend to drop off a little. Hopefully that won't happen so much with what we're doing because we're attacking it from so many different angles. So yeah then the weekend was spent on Saturday you'll see the article should be going up today the blog article I went to meet up with some uh, a sports vision training expert in Glasgow and again you'll be able to read about that soon and there'll be a video going up soon uh, there's a backlog of videos we've got I think there's probably about six videos to go up now we've been having some technical difficulties at this end so please bear with us they'll be up there as soon as we can get them there uh, publicity side media side what's been going on not a great deal in the last week it's been nice to kind of have that put aside for a while and be able to focus on my training fully. Uh, we did some stuff with the Scottish Daily Record on Saturday whilst I was up in Glasgow. That should be going out in the next week. Um, there may be another national paper going out in the next week. Spoke with one or two journalists last week as well. But that, that side has gone quiet. Uh, financially has been the biggest uh, stretch in the last week. As I mentioned before, I'm not some rich guy who is just dipping into a spare change in his back pocket to do this. Uh, I've been receiving more bank charges and phone calls in the last week than I would care to mention. It's not it's not easy, you know, the, the football side of this at the moment is the easiest part, which is a shame because once we get all the stuff that supports the football, then I can really go hammer and tongue at that. Until I do, I'm having to spend a lot of time on trying to find funding for this. So that's been a major stretch this last week um, I kind of feel a little uh, embarrassed to go into detail nobody likes to speak about the fact of the skin but I have mentioned it I won't go into too much more detail now I may come back to that at some other point but yeah that, that's been the hardest part of the last week knowing that kind of in a couple of days time I would have to be trying to find money from somewhere even just to get to training uh, it's not the most stable foundation from which to work so yeah the, the close to the close to the first month has been a bit of a bit of a testing one on, on the training front with the injury and with the uh, with the financial front but I'm gonna keep plowing on it's nearly Christmas maybe maybe Santa will bring me some uh, some gifts that will come in very very useful in the new year uh, yeah so this is my last yeah this is I don't know if there's going to be a video diary next week purely because trading is going to be lighter over the next week I've got a few days off so I don't know whether it'll be worth doing one if it is then I'll then I'll see you in about a week's time if not have a brilliant Christmas and a fantastic new year uh, and I'll speak to you soon Thanks.